Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. We're here in episode 2513 of the Cabral Concept. This is our Friday review of the week. Each and every Friday, I'm bringing you essentially a favorite product of mine. I absolutely love the health and wellness and health tech-based space. So I'm always trying to share with you a lot of the different things that I'm experimenting with so that I can share the best ones. And so I experiment with at least 5x the number of products that I actually bring you on these Friday reviews so that you have hopefully a trusted source that's able to just share things that I'm actually using myself or a lot of the times that it's people that have direct messaged me and said, hey, you have to check out this product. And I do feel it's a part of my job to be able to keep up with the industry, share only the best things with you because of course I don't want you investing your hard-earned dollars into something that I just think is gonna be replaced in a few months from now or just isn't the best in the industry. So I try to bring you the best of the best. Looking forward to sharing with you a brand new standing desk that I use every single day now inside of my overall work-based environment. So I want to share that with you. Uh, That is super exciting uh, because I always love a different setup, especially one that's going to make me a little bit more active. So I'll give you the desk that I decided on why I chose this one specifically and really how it's working out because I've never used a a stand-up desk before. Um, I've got a really great study for you that I want you to check out research based on epigenetics and how it's actually linked to specific types of movement. So that'll be a fun one to go through. I've got another one that, again, this has been taught since Ayurvedic times, but even more than Ayurveda uh, in traditional Chinese medicine. And they always talked about why um, you really don't want to get a chill or get cold or whatever it might be. And it's simply, this is one that I want to share with people that are doing a lot of cold plunges because I'm not against cold water therapy at all. I've done many podcasts on it, but you have to be careful about getting to chill because it could backfire on you. So I want to share that with you too. Of course, we have our podcast recap of the week and, uh, and always so much more. So let's dive into the show. Uh, we're getting started with the updates for the week. I always love giving you some of my personal updates. Maybe you're into it, maybe you're not, that's okay. I know we all have so much going on in our life. I totally get it. Uh, But for me, this is a super special time of the year. Uh, Christmas is, if not my favorite holiday, one of my favorite holidays. It always brings me back to being a kid. And especially now with my two daughters, they're starting to get a little bit older as well. You know, Christmas will eventually take on a little bit different meaning in the future. But um, I love being able to just spend that really great quality time with them. I'll be back up north hanging out with my family. I'll be with my two brothers, my sister, my parents, uh, my brother-in-laws, my sister-in-laws, all of uh, my in-laws, my parents. Like, it's just, it's a great time. We do a lot of family-based activities. And of course, I'll be in the great state of Maine. So Maine during the winter, there's not a whole lot like it. It is the frozen tundra for sure. And uh, and I don't mind it. I really don't. I've never mind the cold. And uh, I, I very much enjoy the wilderness aspect of it. So I'll be up there enjoying, relaxing, and I'll be doing that right through the new year. So for me, it's always the same. Like around the holidays, it's about spending time with family. But also, I still like to wake up early. Early. And what am I doing when I'm waking up early? I'm reading, I'm visualizing, I'm goal setting, I'm journaling, I'm just letting my mind wander and not limiting myself for what this next coming year will bring. And I want you to do the same. I just think that everyone else, the whole world, social media, like everybody tries to limit us and limit our beliefs as to what's possible. Don't be one of those people. I mean, if, if you don't allow your mind to wander, if you don't allow yourself to dream big, then who's going to? Like, that's it. We have to be our own advocates. So big, big fan. Don't put a governor on your actual mindset and just allow yourself to have fun. You don't even have to believe it all right away. Just say, what if, right? What if, what if I was able to do this? What would I love to be doing right now? And uh, and I really enjoy looking at that in all aspects of my life. So definitely check out the Monday shows for that if you want a little bit more of a step-by-step. I'll, I'll share that in just a moment as well. Uh, going on over at Equal Life right now, you don't want to miss this. I mean, this is super important. It is the big five labs. This 
this literally only happens a couple times a year. And the big five labs, um, we, so those are always around $2,500. Like if you were to price out all of those labs, uh, I'm, they're super important, right? These labs are literally the labs that tell you your gut function, your some of your neurotransmitters, mitochondria, your food sensitivities, uh, what else? Your bacteria, your candida. It even looks at uh, back end markers from mold. It looks at heavy metals. It looks at vitamins and minerals, so like all of these things. And so it literally gives you all of the underlying root causes as to why you might be dealing with wellness issues, weight issues, aging based issues, etc. So it's again, it's it's how everyone gets well. There's not a secret. You need to find out what your deficiencies are, vitamins, minerals, omegas, et cetera, and then what your toxicities are, candida, bacterial overgrowth, um, what else, heavy metals, et cetera, right? Like omega-6s, and you need to remove the toxicities and build up the deficiencies. Well, how do you do that? Like, again, I would love for someone to tell me that. How do you do that if you've never found out what they are? Now, you can go to stevencabral.com forward slash assessments and go through assessments, yes. But if you're able to invest in the big five that comes with a 90-minute call that walks you through what your results mean and that also gives you the plan in order to rebalance your body, there's nothing better. Like, I would not have gotten well without at-home lab testing, which is exactly why I do what I do today, right? There is a whole lot of easier jobs in the world <laughs> that uh, than basically forensic case studies on what's going on inside of the human body, but I love it, I, and I do. I, lo I will never stop doing uh, what I do, and, and uh, I want to share that with you. So what we do at Equal Life during this time of the year, before the new year, is to get people those big five. So we're offering you more than $1,000 off the big five. They're actually $9.95 right now. And, and to say that that is an insane price, it is an insane price. Like, Equal Life, there's no margin, like, at whatsoever. Like, there's, we'll put it this way. We're doing this because we want to help people. This is not a business growth-based thing with these labs. It's not. It's like, how can we get the thing that helped me and millions of other people into as many people's hands as possible? So this is the week that we do it. And then starting, Jan starting right after this, please do keep in mind, we're still going to give a discount on the big five, but it is going to be $14.99, which is what the price has always been, except for the last couple of months, we've been trying to help people with that at $12.99. The price for the big five goes back up to $14.99. It's still about $1,000 off everyday price. It's great. But if possible, save an extra $500 this week and grab your big five just by going to stephencabral.com forward slash big five or stephencabral.com forward slash labs because we're also going to be offering um, deals, meaning dollars off all labs at stephencabral.com forward slash shop. I mean, that's the easiest place, stephencabral.com forward slash shop. That'll take you over to Equal Life. You'll get the $500 off, <clears throat> excuse me, the big five, the extra 500, and you'll get... Um, probably a hundred plus dollars off a lot of the other base labs as well. So definitely check that out. stephencabral.com forward slash shop. That'll take you right over to Equalife. All right, little podcast recap for the week. So we are looking at episode 2509. That was the Monday show this week. And that is if you are interested in improving your relationships, spirituality, your body transformation, your health, your overall career, wealth, et cetera, definitely check out that show. Because although I'm not an expert in really any of those areas except health and body transformation, um, what I do is I share with you how to develop a plan in order to become successful in any of those areas. Because the plan that makes you successful with your health or body transformation is the same plan that can make you successful in any area of your life. It just is applied differently. Please do check out that show. That's episode 2509. And then this coming Monday, uh, in just a couple days from now, if you're listening to the show live on Friday, will actually be part two, which is how to implement it, which is just as important, into your everyday schedule. So I would love you to check out both of those. Um, that would be fantastic. All right. So Tuesday show. Uh, this, this show was a little bit of a rant. I'm not going to sugarcoat it whatsoever. It's just this whole thing that you can eat as much butter, eggs, and red meat as you want, and it's going to be totally fine. And it's not. Like, I just want to share that with people. I have no problem with butter, meat, or eggs whatsoever. Do I think that you can eat them in unlimited quantity and still be healthy? No. Do I think you can do it in your 20s and, and be healthy? Sure. You continue on with that? Not so much. And I just lay out for you the difference between 
uh, butter, meat, and eggs quantity-wise as well as quality-wise 100 years ago. We're trying to compare ourselves to our great-grandparents or grandparents. We have to be careful with those assumptions that the soil is the same, the animals are the same, because they're not. And also the quantity. Um, so again, I break that down in that show. If you want to learn more about it, and just, again, the unbiased look at it, like, again, I have no problem with butter, meat, and eggs. But let's not go overboard here, which then becomes detrimental, right? Okay. So on Wednesday's show, this was a show that, honestly, to this day, I keep saying I can't believe it. But the research is irrefutable, and I give you about a half a dozen studies on it. Mouthwash causes diabetes and high blood pressure. All right? Do I think it's the only thing that causes diabetes and high blood pressure? Of course not. But you have to check out this research. I couldn't believe it when I first read it. So I said, I'm not going to share this until I go deeper. And I did. And it turns out it wasn't just diabetes. It's high blood pressure as well. It's unbelievable. Um, so please do check that out. All of these shows can be found at stephencabral.com forward slash podcasts. Uh, that specifically is 2511. 2512, should you skip breakfast or dinner? The surprising answer. And again, it's all research-based. You have to understand is that I'm on the same journey you are. I want to live to 100 plus years old, but I want to be moving around cognitively enhanced and with it and having a great life. And I want that for my wife and my family and my siblings and my friends and all of you in our community, right? Like I want that for everyone. And I want to get to 100 plus healthy. And then my daughter's generation, maybe that are at 120 plus healthy. But I want to be a part of that and I want to share it with you. And so that's what I do. So when I say, listen, should you skip uh, breakfast or dinner? Like I'm going to give you, not the popular answer, but I'm going to give you the real answer, the one that's actually unbiased, all right? So check that out. That was episode 2512. And again, all of those uh, are at stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. You can search 2,500 plus shows for your topic right there. Now, let's get into today's show. All the links will be at stephencabral.com forward slash 2513. You might see a little trend here. They're all going up by one number. All right, so all kidding aside, my product review for the week is a standing desk. I alluded to that at the beginning of the show. The one, well, I'll give you the one that I chose in just a moment, but there's lots of, a lot of standing desks out there. So why am I late to the party? Why did I decide just to get a standing desk now when they've been popular for the last, well, at least five to seven years? Some people, they were ahead of the curve 10 years ago. The reason was this, is that I was always moving, like always going. So until 2019, like halfway through the year. So I had two practices, right? So I had a practice, and they were like a half a mile to a mile away from each other. And during the day, I'd be walking back before the two, between the two different locations. And it was only on Wednesday did I go into the office at 6.30 a.m. and not get home until about 7.30 p.m. That was my long day. The other days, I had fairly normal days. Um, and certainly, if I was working with a fitness-based client, it might start earlier. But by that time, I had already transitioned uh, you know, 90 plus percent just to functional medicine integrative health since about 2010. And so that was that. So I always got in tons of steps. Like I was just walking all the time. I didn't need a standing desk. Like you're allowed to sit sometimes, right? And I did my workouts. So I still did my workouts three, four times a week in the gym. But since the pandemic, like many other people, everything has really become virtual. And so everything for me is basically at my desk. So what am I doing? Well, first thing in the morning, um, I do 8, 8 a.m. calls, standing calls with my team. So I do a walk and talk. I am doing meetings. My daughters leave for school, and I am walking and talking, doing those meetings. They're typically on Slack uh, or just phone. We don't need to do video chat if we need to. I do that a little bit later. So I'm walking for anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes every single morning. It's a great way for me to start my day. Okay, but then, you know, left to my own, um, you know, typical schedule, I could be seated until around 4.35 when I'm going to go do my workout. So that's still a lot of time, right? That's eight hours. So what I said was this, is like, I, I usually get in my afternoon walk, my after lunch, I shouldn't say afternoon, after lunch walk. So there's no doubt about that. But things have also been like great, but wildly busy at work and so many meetings and some of them I have to be at my desk. So I've instituted a standing desk. I said I am going to make sure I'm on my feet more often, getting up, moving around. I, I just there's a lot of extenuating circumstances. I just moved into a new home. Uh, I need to be here to help with what, whatever it might be, just popping in, popping out. So again, like 
I'm working from home right now. I usually always have a separate office, but I have my, my office here is in a, basically a guest room. So it's working. It's fine. It's all that. It's all good. But I need to always be cognizant. I can't sit. I can't literally sit for 10 hours a day. We need to get up. We need to move. So that's what I do. And I've got this standing desk and I like the, I re, well, I should say this. I love the one that I got. And it's on Amazon. I don't know if there's another place to get it. It's called ER Gear or ER Gear, and it's adjustable electric desk. Here's why I bought it though. I bought the 63 inch by 28 inch. If you don't know how big a desk is, it's a, this is a big desk. This is a big desk, okay? And that is because I find myself, the last desk I had was 55 inches wide, which is still pretty wide. This one's even wider. Uh, by the end of my day, I accumulate so much stuff on it. I said to myself, listen, your end of day, it's basically like net zero, nothing's left on your desk. And that's what I do, and it's actually been really nice. Plus, I have a 48-inch monitor. It's huge, but it allows me to do the research that I want. So with a 48-inch monitor, you can get it basically six, almost six, um, as it's on a diagonal, eight and a half by 11. Yeah, it's six. You can get six documents. I can have six basically pages documents open research. So when I'm doing research, when I'm writing a new course, when I'm doing uh, education for the, uh, the integrative health practitioners or anything, I keep um, PubMed, different research windows open. I have an internet tab. I've got, uh, and then um, basically, how I write is I have multiple pages open. So I go from outline to then my actual document. That's my process. And this is so helpful, so beneficial. Plus, my whole podcast setup fits on this one desk. So I totally streamlined everything. I got rid of my big lights for podcasting. I've got these tiny little lights now. It all works fantastic. And what this um, desk does is I can still say seat, seated. Like I need a normal desk for that. So this one has three settings. And I have my one as my standing height. So it's just easy to program. You literally press the S button at, at the height that you like. Boom, it's set. Now I press the number one and it goes right up to standing. And then I have specific meetings. If I'm on a meeting, I do standing. Like that's basically how I kind of um, right, uh, like um, get myself up. Like boom, just press one, you're up. Number two is my seated height. And then number three, I don't have a need for it, but what I found out is like, again, my your, your kids will oftentimes model what you do. So my daughter has a standing height desk that she likes and she puts it at number three. She's a little older now, she's getting into fifth grade and she's able now, she's got a lot more homework, she can stand at the desk, she likes to stand and she does her work there. So it's really nice. And, um, and that's what it's all about because again, you want your kids to mimic good behaviors and, and basically this is a work desk and she's welcome to use it um, after dinner as well. And, and so that's, that's what we do. Again, it's a great desk, I can highly recommend it. It took 30 minutes uh, to put it together. They basically give you all the tools you need, which is an Allen wrench, uh, except for a screwdriver, a Phillips head screw screwdriver. So um, this is, helps your glucose levels, standing up more during the day, uh, overall health. And uh, yeah, I can definitely give you a, a thumbs up on it and five stars so far. Like it's worked great. I've had it for a couple weeks. So I'll link it up. I'm going to share some, if you're not following me on Instagram, check out the stories. I'll be sharing some stories today. And head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 2513 uh, for the specific desk that I'm recommending. All right. All right. Let's get into two research studies for the day. The first one is twin study links exercise to beneficial epigenetic changes. And this has to do with exercise. Let me pull that back up for you. Uh, this was done, literally it was done like two weeks ago, out of, or published two weeks ago, out of the uh, Washington State University. I'm gonna give you the summary. Consistent exercise can change not just waistlines, meaning losing weight, but the very molecules in the human body that influence how genes behave. A new study of twins, so they're looking at identical twins, um, indicates the study found that more physically active siblings in identical twins pairs had lower signs of metabolic disease measured by waist size and body mass index. Um, just to take a little side, metabolic disease are all the things that cause an early death. Basically, high cholesterol, triglycerides, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes. It's a recipe for disaster in the human body. So they measured waist size and BMI. That's how they correlated it. Uh, let's see. They looked at uh, differences in their epigenomes, the molecular process that are around DNA and the independent DNA sequence, but influenced DNA expression. The, so basically, it means what you do in your life changes the DNA expression. And I've tried to teach this every single day on the Cabral concept, meaning that 
Everybody is predisposed to some dis-ease in their body, oftentimes an autoimmune issue, but you don't have to have it if you do not allow for those genes to express, them, express themselves. All right, so the more active twins had epigenetic marks linked to lower metabolic syndrome, a condition that can lead to, which I just stated, heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes. The identical twins have the same genetics. The study suggests that the markers of metabolic disease are strongly influenced by how a person interacts with their environment as opposed to just their inherent genetics. Well, yes, I believe that is correct, right? We've been saying that for a long time. So this was done on um, 70 pairs of identical twins, which I love these studies, by the way, because it's looking at the genome, it's looking at uh, genomics versus um, epigenomics, or it's looking at the genotype versus the phenotype. The phenotype is what we become. And lo and behold, Ayurveda has been talking about this for 6,000 years. The Prakriti, that's our genes, and the Vakriti, how those genes express themselves. So I would love to, to share this with you, the study, but basically, if you don't want to read it over, it's okay as well. Uh, one pair was doing 150 minutes a week of exercise. You've heard that number from me before. It's 30 minutes a day, five days a week, or 40 minutes a day, four days a week, and I will be sharing that in the upcoming uh, program that I'll be talking about in late January, early February. But that's it, that's the marker. You don't even have to do anything fancy, honestly. Some cardio, a little bit of weight training, it can be body weight training as well, uh, moderately to vigorous uh, exercise, and, and, uh, and that's it. Again, like, I don't know. I don't know that there are secrets out there. It's just like how many different studies do we need to say we need to follow that de-stress protocol, right? Diet, exercise, stress reduction, toxin removal, rest, emotional balance, scientifically backed supplements, and a success mindset. That will get you to the destination of healthy beyond 100, right? That's what it's all about. All right, second, so, you know, please, if exercise is not a part of your routine already, let's get in the 30 minutes five days a week or 40 minutes, four days a week for the new year. No doubt about it, you can do that. Get an accountability partner. It's free if it's a friend or family member or invest in a personal trainer uh, where you are accountable to them to basically get in that gym or personal training studio uh, and make it happen, all right? And again, uh, over 50 to 70 free workouts inside of the Ayubowen app as well by Equalife. So definitely check that out. All right. And if you're unfamiliar with that, go to stephencabral.com forward slash Ayubowen. And that's A-Y-U-B-O-W-A-N. All right. We'll try to link that up at 2513 today. Last research study for the day, biological explanation why upper respiratory infections are more common in colder weather. I've actually um, shared a separate study. It was probably like two, three years ago. Um, but basically, let me give you the breakdown. And um, this is one of the reasons why the cold and the flu are more prevalent during colder months. It's not the only reason. Typically, people are getting less vitamin D as well, which does matter, right? So this was done at the Mass Eye and Air. That's literally a hospital that is maybe, or was maybe a half hour away from my, sorry, half hour, half a mile away from my wellness center in Boston. This was actually published the same day as the previous study, just totally different by coincidence, just a couple weeks ago. Um, but researchers at the Mass Eye and Air in Northeastern University have discovered a previous unidentified immune response inside the nose that fights off viruses responsible for upper respiratory infections. Further testing revealed this protective response becomes inhibited in colder temperatures, making infection more likely to occur. By the way, this is the COVID virus. This is flu virus. All of those absolutely do count. Um, again, I talked about this. There was a 2018 study with looking at the same thing, but this is the immune, innate, uh, sorry, the innate, that means inborn into us, like our bodies naturally produce it, immune response, and it's triggered when bacteria or a virus enters our nose, and that is the main way, basically, viruses are spread, not through the mouth and not through the eyes, uh, but mainly through the nose, and so what happens is we have uh, viruses that enter into the nose, and typically there's moisture, there's fluid there that has natural uh, secretory IgA, so immunoglobulins, IgE, and it's helping us to, as our first line defense. While in colder weather, there is a shrinking of that membrane, and there are less immunoglobulins able to attack the actual virus particles that come into the nose. 
So they looked at this from uh, different sets of volunteers, uh, and they found that even just 15 minutes, believe it or not, of cold, where the temperature fell, I think it was at least five degrees Celsius, they had it at 39.9 degrees Fahrenheit, um, they applied the reduction and they found a blunted immune response. So again, what does this mean? It means that just like in traditional Chinese medicine, they basically told people like, listen, you don't want to get a chill. You don't want to lower your core body temperature, your body temperature in general. It does weaken your immune system. So I actually shared this with a private client of mine that um, when you have an acute based illness, doing um, a small amount of cold can raise your immune response. There's no doubt about it. However, if you get a chill, you actually lower immune response. So for like um, overall immunity, I'm actually not the biggest advocate of using cold at that time. I actually much prefer heat uh, and, and dry sauna, you know, so infrared sauna or dry sauna. Much, much bigger fan of that as the heat of the body will help to also boost the immune system and, and improve circulation. So I'm a much bigger advocate of that. Again, I'm not talking negatively about cold, uh, but I do think that there's a, a lot more uh, advocacy that should be done for heat over cold in most conditions, and cold can be done by stronger constitutions and stronger time to make them even stronger through that hermetic-based response. So hopefully this was helpful, again, for those who like to nerd out on this stuff like I do. I'm gonna link all these studies up at stephencabral.com forward slash 25. 13. I appreciate your time here today. I'll be back tomorrow answering your questions on the Cabral House Calls. And uh, once again, enjoy this special time of the year. I appreciate you. I thank you. And I'll be back this weekend, like I said, with those Cabral House Calls. All right, take care, everybody. Before you go, I wanted to share a personal story with you. The real reason I began to get well finally is because I figured out what was wrong with me. And that might seem pretty obvious, but I went from doctor to doctor for over two years before discovering at-home functional medicine lab testing. These are the labs that enabled me to finally figure out what was wrong with my hormones, blood sugar, electrolytes, and gut health. And once I knew what was wrong, I could then follow a proven plan in order to rebalance my body from the inside out. This is why I believe so strongly in functional medicine lab testing and why I've made it my mission to share these labs with the world. Now at equa.life, you can order an at-home lab test or lab bundle for you and your family and be able to complete it within the week. Plus, the equal life difference is that you're not left to try to read and figure out these labs on your own. We explain what your lab numbers mean, what they mean in the much bigger picture, and then how to go about rebalancing your body in order to heal. To see our full selection of lab tests or to set up a free lab selection call to find out what labs may be best for you, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. And do remember, we ship these all over the world. To find out more and to set up your free lab selection call, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. That's E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E forward slash labs.